Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Avada page options. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. The Avada page options can be found in both the backend interface of the Avada Builder and Avada Live. They are available on every page, post or custom post type and enable you to set specific options on a page by page basis and in many instances overriding the Avada global options. The Avada page options can control a wide range of areas. Let's go through the tabs. First is the settings tab. Here you can adjust your page title and slug, set a parent page, choose a page template, set page order and set up to 5 featured images. This is only found in the live builder as in the back end these options are at the top and right hand side of the page. The layout tab is next and this allows us to control the layout of this specific page. Here we can choose wide or boxed, set a background colour or a background image for the page, set the background image to 100%, repeat if necessary and set the animation and navigation on 100% containers. Ok the next tab is the header tab and this no longer has the importance it once had as with Avada layouts this is now handled in a different way. If you're using Avada layouts and have a header layout section in play you will see the message that the page is currently using a header layout section and in this case you can use the layout conditions to determine which pages use a specific header layout. If you're still using the legacy option based headers you will see some options here but we definitely recommend using Avada layouts instead. The sliders tab is next and here you can assign a slider to the individual page without adding them into the page content. Depending on the sliders you have installed you will see options for each one here. There are no sliders on this site but if I choose a Vata slider you can see there are a range of options to control the slider. The page title bar tab comes next and again here it's using a custom page title bar layout section so we're not seeing the legacy options. But there are still some options here to override the layout sections heading and subheading as well as the background image used. The content tab is next. Here you can show the first featured image on the page if you wish override the padding for the 100% width template, adjust the top and bottom page padding and set the background colour or background image for the main content area. The sidebars tab is next but as you can see here you can't use it on a page that uses the 100% width template. If we look at a page that uses the site width template we can see the sidebar options. Sidebars however are also a legacy method now and can be replaced with sticky columns. The footer tab comes next and this is also controlled by a layout here. Again if you're using a legacy footer you will see options here but a Nevada layouts footer gives you much greater freedom in your designs. The SEO tab is the most recent addition to the page options and this tab allows you to set an SEO title and meta description directly to the page. You can also use placeholders here such as site title, site tagline, post title and separator which you can see in the description. So with this option you can now improve the SEO of your Avada sites without the need for any third party plugins. Of course if you want to use a third party plugin you can continue to do so. The custom CSS tab is next and here you can add CSS just for this page. Again this is only found in the Avada page options in Avada Builder Live as in the back end interface it's found along the top toolbar. Finally there is the import export tab. On this tab there are options to import and export the page options which can then be reused on any other page. If you want more information on this please see our how to import and export Avada page options video linked below. If you use one of the custom post types like portfolio or FAQ or you have WooCommerce installed you will also see their own tabs in the Avada page options on those post types. But again if you are using layouts for any of these post types the options won't be relevant. So to summarize the Avada page options give you a way to customize individual pages, posts and other custom post types by adding specific page options and overriding global options. Ok this concludes our video on how to use the Avada page options. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos and if you have any questions or need assistance please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always we want to thank you for choosing Avada.